championship. And of course, the golden goal in 2010, getting a chance to play on Canadian soil, the Vancouver Games, getting a chance to play with Sid. And, and I know Vic, our producer, want to ask me this. Did you hear Sid calling for the puck? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Make sure, guys, uh, young kids, make sure you talk on the ice. Talk, talk, talk. It makes the game easier. If he's not yelling for this. There's no way I even try to throw it to him. But he was yelling with a and with an urgency, like you knew he got by the guy. Uh, so I really wanted to try to get it to him. Um, and obviously, he his quick hands and his quick release. What a um, uh, great shot, big goal. But truly, that was so much fun. There was. In the dressing room when they came back and tied it, uh, U.S. tied it on us late. It was like so nerve wracking getting ready to go into the overtime because, you know, you're an athlete but also a fan, and and you know, going out there, um, it's going to be something we're going to remember forever or hear about forever. So it could either be really, really positive or not. But you know, as an athlete, you sign up for those things, and it is, you know, I always believe the more things on the line, the more fun it is to play and especially when it goes well and that was like felt like it was a peewee memory you know like our dream from peewee you get in the door gloves around sid you know like being on home soil uh the fans and the electricity it was it was so cool and um what a neat moment and uh very very blessed yeah it was it was fun and great to see all the time every time i see a highlight of it it's always going to make me smile it was it was neat well, you did it from your knock on the play, and you still managed to get the goal to Sid. And, and uh, how, how determined were you guys? Because, like you said, like 24 ticks left, the Americans scored to tie it, and, and uh, now they've got all the momentum, and now you're going overtime. And such, I mean, the whole freaking world is watching this game, certainly North America, and certain, certainly Canada. Uh, did you feel some pressure there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we felt pressure. It was. And they beat us in the uh, in the round robin too. And uh, it was, you know, when, when you're playing that game and you're up with a goal left with a few minutes, a goal, you're up a goal with a few minutes left in a game. You're you're trying to keep playing, but you're also like, you're 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 watching the clock. You're trying not to, but you're each minute matters. Each minute, and now you're under a minute, and it's a tight game. And we have some of the best defenders in the world. You know, it's it's you know it's we're that close so when they score it it stings it stings you're that close to a gold medal on home soil we go into the locker room it's quiet it it there's you know for the first five minutes in there um there's not a lot of talking and you know it's like man we were that close and we let it slip away you know or get out of you know so but then i think it was niedermeyer and i think he said Scott Niedermeyer, he was our captain. I think he said, someone's going to be a hero tonight. And then we start getting each other going. And then Mike Babcock, he was a good leader. And he came in as a coach and got us refocused. And uh, now we just, now we're, now we're recharged. Now we focus not on what ifs or, or what, you know, the bad side, if we don't win or anything like that. You try to just put all your focus into what do we need to do? Let's be positive. Let's go work. Let's go have some fun. We're in the overtime. Someone's going to be a hero tonight. And fortunately, <laughs> It did work out that way, and, and Sid got that big goal. But, yeah, lots of nerves. Um, it's funny because when you're on in those type of games, when you're on the bench, you're a fan. You're, like, watching. You're excited. You're, like, a little bit nervous. And then when you go on the ice, you just go, go, go. You just work away and compete and play. And it's easier to be playing in those situations than, than being on the bench as a, a fan and being nervous or not getting much in the, in the game. So, um, yeah, it was – it was really, really cool and a neat experience about all those sport things you hear about, about staying positive, about focusing and staying in the moment. It was, it was one of those that, uh, you know, was for the rest of our careers, uh, I'm sure we all got to draw on and, and uh, learn from uh, firsthand.